Hi there, and welcome to Implementation Guru. My name is Cameron, and on today's video, we're going to talk about the Chrome Mixed Content Blocking and how to fix Salesforce Marketing Cloud, how you can fix it using SSL certificates and why everyone's talking about it at the moment, and how you can check to see if you have SSL certificates installed on your Salesforce Marketing Cloud account. To make sure we understand some of the content we're going to cover in the video today, Let's first discuss the difference between HTTP and HTTPS. When you access websites or send information across the internet, your computer does this by using the Hypertext Transfer Protocol or HTTP. When your computer sends information across the internet using HTTP, it's sent in a free text format, which means that anyone in between yourself and the server can read and interpret that information. Having your information sent in plain text across the internet isn't great, especially when you're doing things like online banking or buying things using your credit card online. And that's where HTTPS or Secure Hypertext Transfer Protocol comes into play. HTTPS works by using asymmetric encryption to jumble up your message to ensure that anyone who tries to read it while it goes through the internet cannot decipher the original message contents. And this asymmetric encryption handshake is facilitated by an SSL certificate. So what is a secure socket layer or SSL certificate and how does it work? There are far better resources online to explain how SSLs work. So without going into too much detail, the SSL protocol works by using two keys, a private key and a public key. The public key is made public and is accessible to anyone who wants access to it, while the private key is your secret key and should be kept safe. When you use this in your browser, such as Chrome, this is all handled for you automatically. These two keys are mathematically special because they're unique, but also mathematically related to one another. The way these keys work is that any message that is encrypted using a public key can only be decrypted using the corresponding private key. This process ensures that any message that you send across the internet using a public key to encrypt your message can only be decrypted by the intended recipient. So when you purchase an SSL certificate for Salesforce Marketing Cloud, that certificate is enabling that handshake process to create a secure connection between your subscribers and Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So now that we understand how SSLs and HTTPS work, why do we need them in Salesforce Marketing Cloud? So HTTPS is used to protect your customer's data. And even though we're not doing things like online banking in Salesforce Marketing Cloud, there's still sensitive information about your subscribers that is being transmitted in emails or possibly used on your Marketing Cloud cloud pages. So if SSLs and HTTPS is such a good idea and it helps to protect my customer's data, then why is it in October 2020 everyone's talking about it? So back in October 2019, Chrome made an announcement that they would be slowly rolling out some security updates, which would block mixed content from loading on secure web pages. And if you didn't know, mixed content is where you access a secure website, which has been secured using HTTPS, and that website has content on it, which is not loaded through the HTTPS protocol, but instead comes through HTTP as an unsecured asset or resource. Often the mixed content was something as innocuous as some CSS or an image, but because that asset was loaded through HTTP, the entire site was not fully secured, which meant there was some security risks for the end user. Chrome's plan was to originally allow, then warn, and finally block content from being loaded over a series of updates in late 2019 and early 2020. That timeline got pushed back a bit, and in October 2020, update 86 went through and Chrome was now blocking all mixed content from loading on secure pages. So, okay then, Chrome doesn't want to show mixed content to customers who visit secure websites, but how does it impact my subscribers in Salesforce Marketing Cloud? Well, it turns out that Chrome is a pretty popular web browser which means that any of your subscribers who are accessing their webmail or inboxes using Chrome will not have images load when they open your emails, which will make your emails look pretty sad. And it gets worse. 
the open tracking pixel in your emails is actually an image, which means it's classified as mixed content if it's not secured by an SSL. That means the image won't load and you can't tell how many of your subscribers are opening your emails. Although it's not all bad news, there are some email providers such as Gmail and Yahoo Mail which use proxies to cache their images to protect their users. What this means is these providers will convert your unsecure HTTP images into HTTPS before showing them to your customers. Microsoft's Web Outlook and Office 365 also have similar functions, however they don't proxy their background URL images, which means if you're not securing those images, then they won't load for your subscribers. Most other webmail providers don't use image proxies, which means if your subscribers are using Chrome to access their webmail, then they're not going to see your images unless they're secured using an SSL. So at this point you probably agree that SSLs are pretty great at securing your customers' data and ensuring a good customer experience when viewing your emails. So then what do I have to do to get an SSL installed in Salesforce Marketing Cloud? For most Marketing Cloud customers, you're going to have to have two SSLs installed to secure your entire Marketing Cloud instance. One of the SSLs is used to protect your SAP domain, which includes the view and click tracking links in your emails. It also includes the cloud page landing page URLs for your cloud pages. And the other SSL is used to protect your portfolio URL, which is where your content builder images are stored in Marketing Cloud. The reason you have to purchase two SSL SKUs is because the SAP domain is hosted by Marketing Cloud, while the portfolio URLs is actually hosted in Akamai, which means those two services are different and require two different configurations for those SSL certificates. Also note that if you're using private domains, you have to purchase one SSL for every private domain that you want to secure. Okay, so I may need at least two SSLs to secure a business unit. How do I get them? Well, that part's easy. Just talk to your Salesforce account executive and they can help you to understand how to purchase and install the SSLs on your Marketing Cloud instance. In the October 2020 release notes, Marketing Cloud had a planned release for the self-service SSL certificates. However, that plan has been pushed back until 2021. And you can check on the documentation page to see when that new feature gets released. The new self-service functions are a great improvement on the provisioning process that Marketing Cloud used to use, which could take up to four to six weeks in some cases for an SSL to be installed on your Marketing Cloud instance whereas the new self-service feature will allow you to set this up much faster. One thing that you can check on before you contact your account executive is to see if you already have an SSL purchased in your Marketing Cloud contract. On the order form for Salesforce Marketing Cloud, you want to look for a line item which says SSL certificate. And what you're looking for is to ensure that you have enough SSLs to cover each business unit that you use for sending. On this sample order form, you can see there is one Marketing Cloud instance and two additional BUs purchased. All three BUs we used for sending, so there are three SAPs on this order form. Note that SAPs are not always shown like this, so you can check with your account executive to make sure you have SAPs installed for each of your BUs. Since I'll be using all three business units for sending, and I need at least two SSL certificates to cover each business unit, I'll need to have at least six SSLs on this order form to cover all three business units completely. And don't forget that if you're not too sure how all this works, you can always call your Salesforce account executive and they can help you to understand what you have provisioned in your Marketing Cloud contract. So once you've confirmed that you have enough SSL certificates purchased in your contract, you can see if they've been installed in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. To start with, we can check to see if the SSL has been installed on the portfolio URL by going to our setup screen and under the settings, checking the company settings and then account settings and under the general settings tab, looking at the portfolio base URL to ensure there is a HTTPS in front of our image link. If you're seeing a HTTPS URL, that means you have an SSL installed on your portfolio URL. 
You can also check this by going into Content Builder and checking an image to see if the image URL has the HTTPS in front of it. For the SAP Domain SSL, there are two ways you can check to make sure that one's installed. The first way is to go to your Cloud Pages and create a new landing page and make sure that landing page has HTTPS and also the Enforce SSL HTTPS Connections Only option when you try to create that page. Note that this check won't work if you're using private domains for Cloud Pages on your business unit. So the other way you can check is by sending yourself an email which contains the view online M script link, which when rendered, if you hover over that link and the link is a HTTPS view link, then you have SSLs installed on your SAP domain. So a few things to be aware of when you activate your new SSLs in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Any images that you've had loaded into Content Builder will be upgraded to the new HTTPS URLs. However, if you've accessed those images in your emails by using HTML, then those image links will not be updated to HTTPS. What this means is that even though you have an SSL installed on your portfolio URL, your images won't be using it until you upgrade your HTML code in your emails to use the correct HTTPS URL for those images. The good news is, if you're using the native Salesforce image content block, or if you use AmScript to reference your images, then those images will be updated to the new and correct HTTPS URL in your emails. However, just to be sure, it's always a good move to go back through your old content blocks and email templates to make sure that once you have installed a new SSL, that all of those content pieces are referencing images using HTTPS. The other thing to watch out for is that cloud pages that were created before you installed your new SSL will not be upgraded to HTTPS after the SSL has been installed. If you want to use a HTTPS cloud page, you'll have to create a new cloud page or recreate your existing ones to upgrade them to the HTTPS protocol. And that's all for this video on SSLs and mixed content blocking in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. I hope this video has been useful for you, and I hope that it can help you to solve any mixed content blocking issues you're having with your subscribers. If it has helped, don't forget to click that like button below, and don't forget to subscribe to Implementation Guru so that you're notified when we release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.